What's going on, guys? Just got in from outside, so I got my hat, hair. I don't care. I haven't shaved. I look like shit. Oh, wow. But we're going to go ahead and look at the swing trade here. So those of you that like penny stocks, I got a good one for you, I think. We got ONTX. This thing has been doing pretty good the past couple days. And I actually hopped into it today, so I'm looking for this thing to kind of keep running. Because pharmaceutical stocks right now, they're lit. They're on higher. They're on higher? I mean, fire. <laughs> Whoa. Anyways, let's go dive into the stock and take a look at it. And yeah, guys, I am going to be talking about you guys at the end of the video. So, so stay tuned at the end if you guys want to look at you guys. But right now, we're going to be looking at ONTX for a swing trade. Oh, yeah, guys, I just remember, don't forget to hit that like button down below. And if you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button. Don't you just love the way your hair looks after you take off a hat? Oops, like a winter hat. It just looks confusing. Horrible. It looks like crap. Almost makes you look like deformed looking. Anyways, here's the stock right here that we're going to be looking at. ONTX. Uh, those of you that like penny stocks, well, here you go. You got a nice little swing trade. Hopefully it works out though. The market's crap right now. So let's go ahead and zoom in here and take a look at the stock real quick and see what it's doing. So on after hours is going red right now, but I got a trend line right here. Ooh, that was a big red candlestick. Where are we at right now? 31. So I actually got in at this stock right around 30 cents point 50, whatever the 50 is. It can't be cents. It's, I don't know. It just hurts my brain to even think about it. But anyways, I got in at 30 cents and 50 and it came down and just nicked it. Then it popped right back up. So that's what I'm in at right now. And you can see I have this trend line right here. And this trend line is for these past two days. It's been bouncing off of that. So that's that trend line. And then I got another trend line right down here below. It. And this trend line is if I go back here. This is a trend line where it's kind of been a slow pace upwards. So I got a trend line on that one too. So we're going to see what trend line it wants to go ahead and follow on this one. I would hope it would follow this one, but if not, I mean, this trend line would be just as good for me as long as the stock keeps going up. Let me back out here a little bit and I'll show you some resistance levels now that I drew out here. So the first resistance that I drew out here is going to be right around 43 cents. So if it does keep following this trend line right here, then it's going to, it's going to squeeze up into it. And then we're going to have to see what happens. Hopefully I'll bump up out of that. But that's only if it keeps following that trend line. And then our next resistance is going to be right around here at about 73 cents, I'd say. Just like I was saying at the beginning of the video, these pharmaceutical stocks, they are lit. They are on fire right now. They're ramping up. I don't know why why it is. It just, it just happens when sectors start getting hot. A lot of the stocks in that sector start doing good. It just Let me see. Uh, let me look at one real quick. Uh, IFRX, I think it is. I was in this stock here. You can see that stock's doing pretty good too. I was in at $3.33, but I sold and lost money and I'm a moron because I never listened to myself. It seems to be holding right here. And this stock right here, IFRX, if you go to the bigger picture, let me go over here to the bigger picture and I wanna show you something. There's a big gap here. Okay, so we'll go to the 10 year two day. You can see this gap. Look at here, here's where it is right now. And this is an enormous gap right here. So if this stock keeps going, it has resistance right around four dollars and 34 cents if it breaks that this thing could just keep going it could fill this gap all the way up to 28 dollars. so you know this could be one that you might want to just get in and see what happens but you know what if the pharmaceutical stocks stop getting hot you know what's going to happen it's probably just going to go drop back down to right where it was right around two dollars or something so it's just something to think about let's take a look at another one here just to see what this one's doing and brv this is another one that i traded i actually hate this stock i hate it all right so what it looks like it's starting it's starting upward upward channel from what it looks like here on the on this long one here let's take a look at the 180 day 30 minute i'll get a better picture of it yeah it's doing it's doing pretty good it's doing pretty good i'd say i hate this stock though this stock has been manipulated like crazy um if i was going to be a buyer on this stock which i wouldn't be because i hate this stock I'd probably want to buy in down here at about a dollar eighty because it seems to be pretty hard support, as you can see. But I'm basically just showing these stocks just to give you an idea that pharmaceutical stocks they they're they're hot right now. <laughs> I can't even speak. They're hot. But the stock that I like right now is ONTX because I'm in that, of course. But this is the stock that I like right now because there's a lot of volume in this, and there's some other things that I like too. So let's go take a look at some other things that I like about this stock. So one thing I like right here is a float six. Whoops. Well, I just covered it up, but it's about 6 million. That's a really good low float and it makes the stock run up really hard. 
Oh, sorry, I got acid coming up through my mouth. Uh, and I was going down here looking at the news, and they were going to have a public offering of $11 million, but then they announced that it was going to be closed. So, so that's good. So that means the float's going to stay at where it's going to stay. Because if this stock was going to go through dilution, I would not be a happy camper, and I wouldn't want to trade it. So here's a look at their website right here, you know, blood cells and blah, blah, blah. It's a pharmaceutical company. What do you expect? And don't forget to throw on old people because they're the ones that are going to be buying from me too. So that's the swing trade that I'm going to be doing right now. Oh, my head itches because everything's so dry and it's so cold outside. Just everything itches. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at you gas now and see what the hell is going on with this thing. All right, so we got you guys pulled up in here. And on my one video, I don't know if you guys have seen it or not. I talked about you guys with the head and shoulders and... Of course, I didn't listen to myself on it. I went ahead and bought you guys around $12 from a freaking moron. And I never listened to myself, but I should have because the head and shoulders, it was legit. And this is what normally happens with the head and shoulders. You get a big dip down and that's what happened. And now it's starting to recover a little bit here. But my prediction of what's going to happen is it's going to hit off this $12.44. And then we're going to see it continue to the downside. I'm sorry, guys. That's what I think is going to happen. And I've been saying this for about a month now. This is going to go into a, re a reverse split maybe this year but my guess is it's going to be next year but i guess we'll find out it's inevitable these etfs they deteriorate so much to the point where it has to go through a reverse split to get back to where it was so that being said i think it's going to bounce off this 12 dollars 44 area and then it's going to reject and keep to the downside all right guys thanks for stopping by my channel don't forget to hit that like button on the video and don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're new to my channel because i got new stuff coming out all the time it's always good to keep your ears open you know even if you don't like my stuff it's always good you might learn some information that you never even knew let's make some money everybody